Okay, so how to make a cabinet and um, just indent the door, do some door detail. So I'm gonna make myself a cube, scale it up to whatever uh, cabinet's supposed to look like. So it looks like yours is a bit like this, going off the reference. Yeah, so it's like this, right? So what we'll do is we'll do a control D. And we'll bring this one out. And this will be the door. Make it thinner. We can place it there if we want to. And it's just a little bit smaller. So I'll just reduce it. That's pretty easy. All we have to do is go to our face selection do a control E, work extrude, hold down control for more control, go to offset and we'll bring it into where we think it's supposed to be. And also like right now I'm using this control, but if I press Q to quit and then I press R, I can like go like this and I can scale it and further uh, control how I want it. So looks like this part's a little bit wider and this part's shorter. Judging by the reference. Then I'll do another control E and I'll just push it in. And I'll push it in right before it turns black because it's kind of thin right now. So I have it right here. Press Q to quit and I'm done, all right? So now what I'll do is I'll do a, um, It's like a bevel it now. So the bevel is easy. I just go to edge, select all these edges, shift, right click, bevel edge, go in real kind of tight, look at it, segment it two or more, put on control for the fraction, and get to be right here. Just Q to quit. It's done, it's nice and smooth. And then I'll just do the same thing to this, just because. So I'll go to edge, and just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll isolate, select it, select everything, shift right click, double edge, on control, go over here, segment of two or more. Let's do three just for fun, right? And get it kind of tight like that, Q to quit. Take this off and now I'll just go right here, place it here. I'm done, I got my cabinet. And the handle's pretty simple on this, kind of like the same way I did before, which looks a little bit different. So I'll just take myself a cylinder, E to rotate, hold on J. Rotate it, I'll scale it out like this. And then I'll make it thin. F to zoom in. I don't really need these back faces. It doesn't matter so much if I put it in face mode and let me select my object, right click face. I'll select this. We'll just press four just to see what I'm doing. All right, I'll just select everything. Then I hold down control and deselect this. Or just to be safe, we can just hold down control and deselect everything but that. So we have that, and then just uh, delete it. I could delete this front part too, but whatever, right? So we just go like that. And um, I'll just make myself another cylinder. I'm pressing five to bring it back. Um, and this one's gonna be my handle. So I'll just scale it up, bring it over here. And since everything's in the center, it'll line up, right? What do I mean by that? It's like right in the center. My hands was just a little bit thicker than that. Right here. Right click, go to vertex, grab these points, drag it up. Well, you know, place it 
you're supposed to go. And your reference will tell you where it needs to be. Then I'll just double click on this. Shift, double click on this one. And we'll bevel these. Shift, right click, bevel. Segments, two or more. Cool. And I select this, Control D to duplicate. Move this over here. Our handle's done. I just need to go over here and say, um, these all look like they're the same material. So we won't even have to UV, UV these, so it'll be super easy. I'll just do a control G and I'll just say handle. Just for vertical, right? Just keep things organized. You see that pivots down there. I'll press this for center the pivot. Get it down and I'll place it where it needs to go. It looks like it's about right there. And that's it. Now check this out. If I'm gonna make two cabinets, I just select this whole thing, control D, move this one over here. And then a quick way to like select the group, if you select this and then you press up, it gets the whole group. But these two are like kind of like, uh, they placed everything into one group. So in this case, we could just hold down control and deselect. Well, no, no, we'll, we'll just go like this. We'll just select these. We can bring this over here. And we're done. easy right now you have some other um cabinets below this now check this out you can do the same thing i'll select these two i should do control d bring these down here go to vertex and i press four to see so this is like the cabinet part and since i'm grabbing the vertexes i'll just bring them up Actually, this whole thing. I don't like modeling below the grid. Um, so I should bring this to where it is. Looks like it's like right there. Let's take this. Same thing. Vertexes. Take my vertexes. Go like this. Now I'll select these right here. I pull these down a bit. So like I said, I'm just looking at the reference as my guide to help me. And then I'll just pull these up. Cool. Now this right here, I can just take these right here and I'll do a control D, all right, and I'll move these down, all right. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more, but right now it's these three, right? So what I'll do is I'll take these three right here, I'll do a control G for group, and I'll name it handle, H-O-R-I-Z, like for horizontal. Now this group is inside of the handle vertical group, but to take it out of the group, you have to middle mouse button click, and then you just pull it out the group, and when you see the solid line, you know it's like outside. So if I put right here and I see the solid line, see they group. Let's go um, center the pivot. Press E to rotate, hold down J. Let's turn it 90 degrees. All right. Let's bring it over here. Bring it over here. And it looks like it's in the middle of this. It's a little bit off. Let's place it right here. Then I'll take this one and I'll pull it over here. And this one, I'll pull it over here. And I can look at it through my four-way view if I really want to like get it right. Press four to see through. Yeah. 
It looks like it's kind of even. We just eyeball it for this, no big deal. And remember, when you're doing something with this, so oh, let me center pivot to scale it. Don't go like that because it's going to mess up this bevel right here. Instead, we'll just go to vertex, W, move it over right here. Just like this, move it over. Cool. And if this is too short or whatever, we can just take it. And remember, just take these points and drag it over. Same with this thing right here. Object mode right here. Take these, move it on over. I can just take object mode, take this, move it on over. But your reference will tell you all of that. There we go. It's done. And of course, if you need to duplicate it, easy. Control D. Just move it up. And you're good. And it looks like it has a little, I don't know what you call that, a little support, I don't know, under it. So it's just Control D. Let's move this. Under here, I'll press R to scale. Go like this, go to vertex four to wireframe, pull it up like this. And then, you know, that can be our little area for the floor. And these right here on yours, because they're white, you wouldn't really need to UV it. And then just control D and do the rest. Like as you can see, all we gotta do is just duplicate these and place them where they need to go, kind of like Legos, and we're good. And uh, you know, there's a stove in the sink but you know i guess when you get to that let me know well if you can't you know model it um i have a question too about the reference well, 